We all use ChatGPT to save some time and be more productive. In this video, I will show you four such options using which you can save more time. You don't need to have any paid subscription or anything. I will show you all these options which are now available in free tier of ChatGPT. So let's start with the first one. If you follow my mouse here, I'm in ChatGPT console. I have logged in using one of the free ID where I don't have any paid plan. Now the first thing let's talk about that is ChatGPT memory. Using ChatGPT memory, you can do multiple things. First of all, how can you access ChatGPT memory? You can go to your profile picture. There, you can go to settings and under personalization, there you will be able to find this option of ChatGPT memory. By default, it should be enabled. Just check that if it's not enabled, then enable this particular option and then you will be able to use it. I'll just click on this manage button now. As of now, this is blank. You can see there is no memory. I've already deleted all those memories so that I can show you all these things from scratch. Now, if I close it and then I come back and here I just type one prompt going forward whenever I type colon revise colon please provide a revised and polished version of the text in simple English with human like tone and if I hit enter you will be able to see it will update the memory update memory it is prompting and then if I click on yes then it will update the memory now you can see it's mentioned that memory updated and if I click here then the same prompt will open which you just saw this is the one you can see now it added and you can also observe it changed the language also once text revised and polished in a simple english with a human like tone whenever they type colon revise colon a very popular use case whenever using chat gpt is to check your english content or if you want chat gpt to write something now if you have already written something and you want to polish that particular english text then you can use this particular method now i am giving this example in the context of of polishing your English text but you can use it for other purposes also if you are using chat GPT for any specific purpose on daily basis and you are writing similar type of prompt every time you can utilize this particular method to save it in memory so that every time you don't need to write that prompt let me give another example so that you can understand it better I publish videos on YouTube regularly right and I need to come up with the idea of video titles now whenever I'm generating title I'm asking chat GPT okay give me a right title which will be SEO tuned and which will be attractive to the viewers now instead of writing that particular prompt every time if I update the memory with a colon video title colon then you just need to ask that video title every time and it will produce now you may think why am i adding this colon before and after that word because if you just type revise chat gpt knows that text needs to be revised but here i'm adding some additional context i am mentioning that i need that output in simple english and human like tone i'm adding some additional preferences whenever i'm looking for the output so that's why i'm adding that colon revise colon you can also use hyphen revise hyphen so anything you can use but keep Keep it in mind it should not be a normal word whenever you are using so that chat gpt will be able to specifically and separately understand this is the one you are looking for now down the line whenever you will be using chat gpt if you just type colon revise colon and then you will hit enter while pressing the shift then it will go to the next line and there you can paste your english and then it will revise for you similarly we can do another thing let me just type this particular prompt going forward whenever i type type colon grammar colon please provide a grammatically corrected version of the given text also check for any spelling mistakes and correct them ensure that the original structure and the style of my text remain same so you already wrote something and where you just need to be fully sure that there is no grammatical mistakes no spelling mistakes are there utilizing this particular prompt you will be able to generate that particular text i am not asking chat gpt to generate something for me here i am only asking chat gpt to check whatever i have written that is grammatically correct and if there is any spelling mistakes or not now you can see it also updated the memory that whenever i'll type colon grammar colon it will check for the grammatical mistakes and it will not change the content okay now you understood right so using any of these keywords you you can update chat gpt memory and using those keywords down the line you will be able to save time and you don't need to write those longer prompts every time if you are using for any specific purpose on regular basis now we talked about chat gpt memory second one is custom instructions now you can train chat gpt that what you want 
Let me show you how you can do it. If you again go back to your profile picture, you will be able to see one option that is customize chat GPT. It will give you two options. One is what would you like chat GPT to know about you so that you can update something about yourself. Now let's take one example. If an artist is using chat GPT and an advocate is using chat GPT, their expectation from chat GPT will be different, right? Here you can update about yourself. Just ensure that you are not sharing any of the confidential data and you can also see there are some of the hints it's already mentioned. Where are you based on? What you do for your work and other things. So based on these hints, you can update about yourself here and down the line chat gpt will respond based on these requirements second thing is how would you like chat gpt to respond are you a fan of a detailed type of a response or you always look for a shorter answer all those things you can also mention here you can see again those hints how formal or casual chat gpt should be how long or short should the response also will come and few other points are also mentioned here so using these two areas you can Customize chat GPT as per your requirement based on what you do, what you are interested for and why you are using chat GPT and chat GPT will be able to generate content matching your persona. Now, while we are in this screen, if you just scroll down a bit, there are a few other options. This internet access for chat GPT, DALI, code interpreter and canvas. All these options were earlier not available with a free plan. However, OpenAI recently added this feature as part of the free plan also. So you can check all those on if you want to use any of these features. Now let me click on cancel. You can update as per your requirement and then you will be able to see this particular save button and you will be able to save your preferences. Now before we move to the next point, I am in process to record one comprehensive course covering chat GPT, Microsoft Copilot, Google Gemini, Cloud all those major tools. I have added one link in the description below. If you fill out that form, then I'll be sending you a 70% discount coupon code once the course will be live. Now, coming back to the next point. Now, this is another important thing. And this is our small feature, but can be very useful. If you come here and you click on this drop down, then there is one option of temporary chat. If you enable that and then you'll be able to see one temporary chat option and here whatever you are going to type whatever the conversation will happen this will not be saved so that in your saved history if you click on this particular left pane of the sidebar there you can see all those interaction whatever i have done those are saved but once you are enabling this temporary chat your chat history will not be saved so if you have any specific need where you don't want to save your interaction with chat GPT for this particular session, you can use this particular method. Now let me talk about the final thing and this was earlier not available within chat GPT. Let me come back and there if I click on this new chat and I show you one new thing. This feature was not part of the free plan earlier. Recently OpenAI added this feature as part of the free tier also. That is the advanced voice mode. You can use your voice to ask questions and ChatGPT will respond. Same feature can be utilized from ChatGPT mobile app also. And I also have a detailed video covering that particular feature. But here let me show you how can you use it. If you click on this particular button, one option will come where you will be able to speak to ChatGPT and it will respond. Let me do that and I'll also show you one option whenever the first time you will be using what are the prompts you will get. But before that, let me show you how it will respond. If I click on this particular icon, then you can see now ChatGPT is listening to me. How can I use advanced voice mode within ChatGPT? To use advanced voice mode, you just need to... My guidelines won't let me talk about that. Can I help you with something else? How can I use ChatGPT advanced voice mode to be more productive? To be more productive with ChatGPT's advanced voice mode, you can use it to brainstorm ideas, dictate messages or notes, and even get quick answers to questions without typing. Voice mode can help you multitask and stay hands-free while you work on other tasks. Okay, pretty good, right? So you can see, you can ask this question and it will respond. Sometimes chat GPT guardrail comes in picture. You can see it was content was flagged. I just asked about this voice mode. I don't know why it came, but maybe OpenAI will down the line work on this. It was not a question which cannot be answered. However, you can start using advanced voice mode within chat GPT now. Now, let me just finally show you whenever first time you will use chat GPT advanced voice mode, whatever the prompts you will get because 
here i use it quite often that's why those prompts never came but first time whenever you will be using those prompts will come let me very quickly log out from here and i'll use with another id where i have not used or advanced voice more earlier i'll click on login i'll again use google credentials and there i'll use one of the id where i have not used voice more earlier now you can see it's prompting me about my details and let me quickly fill it out and if i click on agree then this is the prompt we'll get and now you can see it's showing that try this advanced voice mode and if i click here so this is the first prompt you'll get so there will be some limited availability of this particular feature in the free tier on monthly basis you will be getting some quota using which you will be able to use this particular option and other details are also here and you can also manage your recording if you have any previous related concerns now after you will click on continue then it will show you multiple different voice options let me click on that hi there i just want to share how thrilled i am to work with you and i can't wait to get started so what's the game plan yeah so this is one voice similarly you will be able to test out other voices and then once you click on start new chat it will select that particular voice for down the line now let me just quickly show you another option ho 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 happy holidays i've been going over my nice list and you're just the person i want to talk to Okay so this was good right because of this christmas season i think this voice also got added recently now if i select and start a new chat then you will be able to see this particular option is coming and it's now listening to me that and it will try to respond i'll click on cross so that it will end now if you want to change the voice down the line any point of time you can go to your profile picture and there you will be able to click on settings and then under the speech option you will be able to select that particular voice if you want to test out any other voices also you can just click on that and you can click on play to understand how that voice will be sounding so this is the way you will be able to change the voice down the line any point of time so this is all about it so down the line instead of writing any of the prompt you can talk to chat gpt you can talk in your native language also and chat gpt will understand and it will respond to you in case you are on the go using chat gpt mobile app also you can ask using your voice and you don't need to type the entire prompt So hopefully these four methods will help you to save some time and every time you don't need to write all those longer prompts and using these methods definitely you will be able to save some more time. If you want to know more about ChatGPT advanced voice mode and how it's interacting, how is responding, then check out this video to know everything about it.